Hello, hi, it's 4am on October the 30th and I need to choose a TBR for November. It's that time already. OMG. Hello, hi, welcome to a new video. I'm Jacques. This is Mr. Pink Ink and I need to choose my TBR for November. Because we are going to participate again in Readathon, which happens four times a year. And again, as usual, they have a bingo block, a bingo board, um, with the prompts, which are a mix of reading prompts and self-care prompts. So I'm just going to insert that here quickly. Um, I'm going to only specifically concentrate on the reading prompts for this video. Um, so, yeah, let's get into it shall we one by one okay so the first prompt is read the shortest book on your tbr i don't have short books at all i'm gonna have to find something on my kindle that is tiny on my kindle app on my kindle app i don't have a kindle um let's see what's on the kindle app then check goodreads to see the page count and then I uh, will do that. So we'll get back to that one. <laughs> oh, then the next one is get somebody else to choose a book for you. Um, uh -huh. Yeah, I'll also come back to that one because I don't know who I'm going to get to choose and what I'm going to do yet with those books. So I'm going to try and get books for all the other prompts and then see... What else I want to read because yeah we'll get back to that one skipping it now <laughs> the third prompt um, is to read the 11th book on your TBR like these prompts this time around are, are killer wait until you see the last one I'm dead I'm dead <clears throat> okay so um, just to make things easier this stack of books is my review pile. These are the books I still have to read for review. Um, <laughs> so I'm just going to count 11 and I'm just going to go, I'm just going to make it easy. I'm just going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And it's going to be this one. We Solve Murders by Richard Osman. Ooh, don't fall down. Ta da! A new series. For a definition of the prompts and an explanation of them and what they would mean, um, there's a blog post up that you can find if you go to Readerson on Instagram and you go to their card link at the top, whatever, gives you their link tree, then you can click on Donna Marie Reads and you can click on their blog post and then they will give you a breakdown of the prompts okay so for the shortest book they want under 300 pages I'm gonna go with the setup which is book one at middle grade by Sophie McKenzie this is also on my TBR for over two years so that will cover that prompt when I have to go through there then for um, four vibes or autumn vibes on the cover um, they also explain in the blog what it is they give you examples of things on a cover it doesn't have to give you four vibes it doesn't have to be four but there are things like leaves and cats and sweaters and stuff so extensively searching uh, and by the definition we can go with that because there's a cat okay so um, but I'm also gonna go with this one this one I think is also over two years on my TBR. I got this in a giveaway. Ooh, I didn't even realize. Look, look, look. Look, look, look. When was this published? When was this published? 2021. And I won it in a giveaway a couple of years ago. So that also counts. So, so far we have three. So far we have three. I don't want to get too heavy. Let's see what the next prompt is. 
The next prompt is to read something that's next in a series. I'm currently reading many, many series. <laughs> Um, so I'll probably find an audiobook for that. I'm currently at this point in time reading the Elemental Thief trilogy from Rachel Morgan. I'm um, on the last couple of hours of book two, Elemental Power. So it looks like I will be reading three, Elemental Air for November so yeah I'm gonna go with that if things change then you know things change okay so then the next prompt is to read a book that's been on your shelf for more than two years two years or more <laughs> both of these books qualify for that we are allowed to double up so that's pretty good <coughs> <coughs> pardon me <coughs> so dry I need to go get coffee oh I do have coffee sorry pardon me Mm. Mm. Okay, um, and then the next one, the next prompt is, oops, I forgot. Oh no. When you click record, but you don't click record, and now you have to re-record because it's 4 a.m. in the morning. Fine. Okay, so back to the prompt <laughs> that we didn't record. Um, they want you to read a book that nobody's talking about. So we're going to do the setup by Sophie McKenzie because there's that. And then they want you to complete a reading challenge. You must read a book that will help you in your reading challenge. Now, I've already completed my Goodreads challenge. I've already read 114 books of 100 books that I have, that was my challenge, which was increased. Um, I could increase it again and then go 115 and then, yeah, or 120 and then any book will go on to that. So I don't know. Any other reading goals I have is that I wanted to read more, I want to read more sci-fi. Okay. But now do I've read, I've read some sci-fi already this, this year. Do I want to add more? And then if I add another sci-fi, what do I have? I don't know. I'll have to think about that one. I don't know. Then they want you to read a book that you've been putting off. And um, the only book I've been putting off is Curry of the Orange Tree. I'm not reading that. No, no, no. Not if I have to have a pile of books. I'm not reading that. That I want to read on my own time. And I want to take my time doing it. You see how thick she is. I did, I did, I would have read it if I was included in the Jonathan Ball read-along, which happened not so long ago. I applied and I was ignored. So, you know, this is a queer author. I'm a queer content creator. You know, I'm supposed to be prioritized. I've been with them since 2017 and I've been asking them year after year after year to prioritize the queer stuff for me. Because it makes sense, because I'm a queer bookstagrammer, etc, etc. Anyway, so I'm not going to be reading that. I don't know what else I've been putting off. <sighs> oh, yeah. Also, there's one for She Gets the Girl by, by Rachel Lippincott and that other lady. Um, I have a problem with overhyped books. So maybe I should read that one. Hmm? Should I read that one? Or attempt to again. One more time. And there goes my whole shelf. I shall attempt to read this again for the umpteenth time. I have a problem starting over oh, books. I don't know why. I don't know why. Yeah! <laughs> then they want you to read a book that you want to read before 2025 any of the books that I already have okay um, any of my review pass so um, the books that are not for review yeah, are these ones so far so if I read any of these two that's the win <laughs> The last prompt is, uh, there's two more. The last prompt is a mood read, so 
I'm whatever whatever book I read that takes my mood that I'm in the mood for at that particular point in time that is the book I'm going to mark I'm not choosing a book for that read and then the second last prompt which is the last prompt is um, to read a book with the word only in the title that's O-N-L-Y guys this has also got to do with something, I don't know. I swear, the person that came up with this prompt had the book with the word only in it and they decided like, ha ha ha, let's have fun, let's stump the people. Um, I did a Google search and there was 100, 200 odd books with the word only in it. Nope, don't have any of them. I checked on my e-reader, book by book by book, Nothing with the word only in it. I checked my Kindle app. Mm -mm, honey pie. Then I remembered, wait, look, there must be. And I looked, I didn't remember, but I started looking across my shelves. And now, the only, ha ha, no pun intended, book that I have with only in the title is Only Big Bum Bum Matters Tomorrow by Damalori Cuckoo. And this is where I'm going to cheat. I... Read this book not so long ago in August of the read along. Okay, my review, video review, everything is all up. I'm not going to read it again. I, I I know what's happened. It's recently in my memory. I will mark it that I've read this book because this is the only book that I have with only in it. Number one. Number two, I think that prompt is uh, very hard. Very hard. I think, I think the person that came up with that is having a bit of a laugh. Ha ha. <laughs> But anyway, this is a suggestion for that prompt. I also recommend this book if you want something funny, if you want something hilarious, um, if you want about family drama. Family drama can be funny. That is why it's hilarious here. Yeah. If you want, uh, there's a hilarious scene. So I'm putting this on my pile. I'm not reading it again, but I am marking that I've read it because... I'm not going to read it again. And if you can give me a book with the word only in it, in the title, before the end, before the last week, I need a week that has the word only, and that's not non-fiction, okay, then I will read it. I will read it. So, do hit me up in the comments below with any recommendations of the word only in the title. Let's see if anything will go well. This is my suggestion. I also recommend this book. I really enjoyed it. Um, yes. Okay, so all that is left now is for me to get someone else to choose a book for me. Um, it just says someone else choose. Just hold on. Let me double check on that for you. Okay, so the definition on Donna's um, website. Your blog post states that whoever must choose your next read. So I'm just gonna go to somebody and say, Hey, pick one of these, and then whichever one they pick is the one that I'm going to read. And then that covers that prompt. I will insert that here. Mm -hmm. I've got these four books, okay? These four books. I know you don't know what they are. Okay, I know you don't read. Yeah, yeah. I know you don't know. Okay, we've got we've got a mystery, a crime mystery. We've got a middle grade, um, and we've got um, a sapphic romance and a sapphic romance, which is lesbian romance. This is fantasy. This one here, I don't know what this is. So, just from the title, if anything catches your fancy, just the thing that you want me to read, I'm going to read next. So it's just as uh, part of my. The, the, uh, well, I think it's a pretty obvious uh, choice. I would obviously take that uh, We Sold Murders. I knew you were going to take that one. Yeah. But this is one's thick, Bree. This one's very thick. Oh, then it's a good one to get it's started thick. with first. <laughs> yeah, okay, so we're going to go with this. Thanks, Jason. Nice. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Uh, okay, so once again, and I forgot to mention that in the beginning, Readathon is hosted four times a year by Amanda the Biblio and Donna Marie Reads. They're both on Instagram. I will tag that down below or... Never mind, they are also both on 
YouTube as far as I'm aware. I know Donna Marie Reads is on YouTube. You can check that out. I think I will, I will, think I will rather link that. Um, I didn't see the announcement video. If there is one, then I will link that down below. In the description box, down below this video. Um, and you will find all the relative links there. And that's it. That's it. This is my... November TBR plus an audiobook. Um, yeah, and then whatever else I read. Because you never know. I might, there might be a read along. I might be included in the penguin one, like, like last, like this one, like, like the greatest game this month. They might, you don't know. They just send it to you this one. So hopefully they'll send me the next one. Hopefully it's nice. I don't know what the time is now. It's 4.27. Um, running out of internet time, I need to go do stuff. Let me know down below what it is that you hope to read in the comments down below. Um, if you have a video, TBR, or whatever, whatever, link it in the comments for me down below, and I will be sure to check it out. So, yeah. There you go. Some of the hardest prompts, especially this one, with only, Okay. So, ta da ta da wow, wow, and that is my screenshot, or oh, my thumbnail, just in case you want to know what's going on. Okay, bye from Cape Town, until the next video.